Hello everyone. In this video, you are going to learn the basic English sentence patterns or structures. The basic sentence structure in English is subject, verb, then object, which is sometimes represented as SVO. This structure helps readers understand who is performing the action and the outcome of the action. So from what we have on the screen, you say SVO stands for subject, verb, plus object. The SVO structure is the basic structure of an English sentence. Here, the subject comes first, the verb comes second, and the object comes third. The subject is usually a noun or a pronoun. The verb is often an action word that shows what the subject is doing. So let's look at some of the examples of SVO structure. Number one is, Andy ate biscuits. They closed the door. He drove his car. So let's let us look at the examples and dissect them into proper patterns. So in this number one, you can see Andy means the subject. So Andy is the name of a person. So in this case, it is the subject. The action word here is eat, which is the verb. Then the next one is biscuit. Biscuit is the object. Let's go to the second example. They. They, they closed the door. They means a pronoun representing or taking the place of a noun. So in this case, it is serving as a subject. So in this case, you can say they is the subject. Closed is the verb or the action word. The door, it is the object. So from the third example, we have he drove this car. He drove his car. In this case, he is the subject. Drove is the verb. Why car is the object. Let's go to the next structure in English language. The SV structure. The SV structure simply means subject verb structure. That is subject plus verb. So in the SV structure, you can say that the subject comes first and the verb comes second. So the verb must agree in number with its subject. For example, if the subject is singular, the verb must be singular. So let's go to the examples so that I can understand it further. The first example is, the baby is crying. The baby is crying. In this case, you can say, the baby is the subject. Why is crying is the verb. Subject plus verb remember so let's go to the second example the boy is dancing the boy in this case is the subject why dancing is the verb the girl is smiling the girl is the subject why the smiling is the verb or we can say it is the action word so let's go to the next structure in English language, which is what SVC structure. The SVC structure simply means subject, verb, complement. Subject plus verb plus complement. In the SVC structure, the subject comes first, the verb comes second why 
the complement com stored. So in this case, we can see the complement provides more information about the subject. The complement can be an adjective, a noun, or a prepositional phrase, which describes the state or quality of the subject. So let's use some examples and explain it further. So in this case, we can use these examples to understand what we mean by the SVC sentence pattern in English language. The first one is, he is tired. He is tired. In this case, he is the subject. The verb here is, is, is. Why tired is the complement. So the remaining two examples are, she is pretty. She is pretty. The next one is, it is expensive. It is expensive. Let's go to the next structure, which is SVOC structure. Subject plus verb plus object plus complement. So in this structure, the subject comes first, while the verb comes second. Then object comes third, while the complement comes fourth. Let's represent this in an example. So from this example, you can understand further what we mean by SVOC structure. Example one says, she made me happy. She made me happy. So in this case, you can say that she is the subject. Made is the verb. Me is the object. Happy is the complement. So from the example, we have already seen that the complements are mostly in adjective. So Let's check the next example. You made us proud. You made us proud. The next one is, I wrote the exam well. So these two examples have the same structure. So these are what we have learned from this lesson. So like I have earlier said, the basic structure in English language is what everybody needs to know if you are a beginner in English language. So you can also go to the comments box below and list more examples of English sentence patterns that you know.